Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a little Goodwill shoe thrift haul. Um, I have my older sister with me today, so um, she's gonna go through some of the shoes. Gus! <laughs> Bobby, what are you doing? Gus, get out of the way. Oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> um, she's gonna go through some of the shoes she has found within the last, what, three weeks? Roughly. Three weeks, and I'm gonna go through shoes I have picked up within the last week and a half. Um, some of her shoes are already listed, none of mine are. So with that being said, we'll get started. And do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? You go for it. Okay. So I'm going to start with three pairs of shoes. We're going to do, I think, five items per rotation, kind of keep to keep it flowing. Um, so my first three pairs are pairs that I've paid um, at a normal retail Goodwill. And I believe they're around five bucks each, not including discounts, which... Get a rewards card if you don't have one because you do get 10% off every $20 purchase, I think. Um, anyways, let's get into it. So this is a Goodwill that I think they get donations from Ross and Marshalls, which is like right around the corner from this. It's the water that fell off the couch. Um, but with that being said, these are like brand new. They still have like the size tag there, the blowfish, super cute. Don't even look like they've ever been worn. Um, next up, I have two of the same brand. These are the J. Crew Ballet Flats. Has that really cute animal print there. This pair does have a little bit of wear to them, but they're not noticeable when you have them on. At least I don't think so. And they fit me, so if they don't sell, I'll just keep them for myself. And these are a size, I don't know. Probably like nine and a nine. I'm gonna say, oh my gosh, size nine. <laughs> this is a maroon and black pair with the patent leather. These are a size nine and a half, so I guess these won't fit me. But so all three of those pairs I paid five dollars each for. Um, next up are these really unique Birkenstocks. They're those kind of I guess shoe kinds. Oh. Yeah, clogs, oh. thank you. They're a size 40. I don't know if they're men's or women's, but they're freaking Yeah, clogs. they're clean. They're really clean. They look like they've never been worn, probably because, well, it's a unique style. But these are from the bins. I can really rock those in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a slipper, just one. It's Tom. I have the match in my car somewhere. Um, which is also with a bunch of clothing that I just don't feel like digging through to find it. I don't know if I'll keep these for myself or if I'll list them. Either way, they're super cute. All right, you're up. Oh, goody. So, unlike her, she does normal Goodwills. I don't. I do outlet mainly. Um, so, most, actually, all of my shoes are from the outlet. <laughs> So first up, I have a pair of Michael Kors heels. They are on my Poshmark, which is just simple, very grainy. Sorry. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. And I'll link her Poshmark account down below. She's also the sister that has, well, had, it already sold, the Fendi bag listed. And she's also the sister that found me that Chanel box. So she finds the better <laughs> stuff than I do. <laughs> So these are size, and I forgot where I found these the first time. They're in the very inside. There they are, eight and a half. So they have the nice little gold zipper. My pores, they're barely worn. The soles still look great. Is that gold? I think it's gold. Maybe I not. I think it's silver. It I don't know. It's a gold tint to it. Maybe like nickel plated-ish gold, brushed gold. I don't know. Something or another. You decide. <laughs> I may be colorblind. I think it's a lighting <laughs> in here. Next up, I have a pair of dance ghosts. I have cleaned these up. I have conditioned. Um, I tend to do that with all my shoes. Um, they just look better. And it saves you guys time. Gus! <laughs> have bumps. <laughs> but these are a size 39, so that's a 9 in women's. Um, like you can see the toes. They're just a hair worn, but they've been conditioned, so they look great. The back. They normally look like that anyways. <laughs> to me, they do. 
even if dance goes have just a little bit of wear they typically sell um still for like 25 bucks so if you find them and they have that much wear still pick them up and i'm still learning this because i am new to the whole poshmark bit i sell mostly on ebay at first <laughs> another pair i did not actually get at the outlet i forgot about these i picked these up at a resale store they're fries i thought they were super cute they are older um, peep toe. Peep toes, thank you. Uh, these are a size eight, I believe, which I think I might keep myself, but you may see them on Poshmark soon. That's three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these. <laughs> so I found these at the outlet. Do you have they're tiny like feet? brand new. If you have tiny, yeah, they're not real tiny. They're sixes, I believe. That's tiny. Oh. We're like eights. They're six and a half. And nine. Like there is no I'm hope a, of like I'm a seven, seven toes. and a half, but I can fit in an eight. But six and a half, I used to fit in heels, but not regular shoes. But these are me. I'm. I think is it's not what it's called. I have no idea. Or, I've never even heard of M this brand. Mi dot. I am. So this is actually the first time I've ever found them. Looks like they're normally Nordstrom, um, but they have great detail with the studs. You can see that the studs, and I'm a huge fan of studs. Anything blingy stud-like with heels. Oh, I have some red ones, Sam Edel Edelman. You yeah, always make so. fun of my words, so <laughs> just check it. Just wait, guys, just But wait. they're six. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so these are six and a halves. Um, they are listed on Poshmark right now. I believe they're 20 or 25 on there. But you know, we're always open to offers. Always. Send them our way. Especially if you bundle. I'm totally yes. okay. <laughs> these, I haven't decided if I'm keeping for myself or not. Backstory, my old dog's name was Rue and I grew up wearing these kind of shoes or people wearing. I never had a pair. I always had others like Adidas and stuff. Okay, Adidas this. We weren't knockoffs. quite knockoffs, but, <laughs> but we never had the in crowd shoes all the time. Um, $50 was a lot for us to spend on shoes, like even for our parents. They worked at Kohl's now. and we got, well, hell yeah now, sorry. <laughs> but with finding this stuff at Goodwill, I'm just gonna wait till I find it for myself. A anyway, lot sorry. of my stuff I have found at Goodwill that I wear or have one heck of a deal. Um, but these are roos, the kangaroos. Um, they are the back, what would you call, they're not called, they're called slip, slip, slide, on, slide, up, slide on sneakers. Slip I just call them slip or slip on sneakers, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> but they're really in amazing condition. They're like brand freaking new never worn these are a size eight i love them i'm just not a pink person so we'll see these may end up on poshmark here soon i'm still up in the air checking about four to five days <laughs> okay okay so next up i'm gonna do some sandals this is a new brand to me um these are little wedges it has like a blush pink color, but the brand is Camper. I can't even read it because it's so light. Um, but I looked these up on Poshmark and they resell for like 30 bucks. So they're really comfortable and nicely made. I do have both. <laughs> I don't know if I showed both. They do need a little cleaned up, like that has some dirt around, but that'll be easy. So I'll get those listed eventually. None of my stuff, like I said, is listed because I'm not as good as her. Um, I have more free time right now these are these are um born concept so the boc brand sometimes i take these to resale shops because they do pay out decently i think they price them at 25 and you're looking at a third of that price so around six or seven bucks but they also sell online for that same price so it just depends on where my patience is and sometimes i'm just like i'm depending on the day sometimes i just don't care uh, next up is Tory Burch. <laughs> um, these do have some wear, like the t the um, strap right here does have a little bit of wear, but because they are Tory Burch, they're not the um, spongy, like old navy material type flip flop. 
I went ahead and picked these up because I think I can get at least Second. 15 for them. Your last video but you have this. These are your no, the ones that I, I think it was the spongy ones. or my last haul. Yeah, I yeah. have those. Which she found those for you too. I don't know what size these are. We'll figure it out. I'm assuming they're a six or a seven. So yeah. One, two. Okay. And then I don't know. I know I said I was doing sandals, but we're just gonna go with the line. I have no idea about this brand. Society Amuse by Matisse or something. I'm pretty sure this is an expensive collab brand thingy. Hopefully that makes sense. Mm -hmm. They're size eight. They have not studs, but the circle things. I forget what they're called, but they're super Rib cute. Rivets, but I don't know. like riveted. Um, but yeah, they're size eight. They don't fit my feet. I tried before this video and yeah, that sucks. She was sure They're super it. cute. And then the good old fashioned but great shoes to pick up, Lucky Brand Boots. So these are in much better condition than the last pair I've shown you guys. These, wait, are these the ones that I said were, no. I'm a size nine, these are an eight and a half. So these will be up soon. All right, you're up. First of all, those are yours. No, they're not, you picked them up. She I'm found these. Show those. All right. She found these. They fit my feet. I tried them on. These stupid straps hurt my big toe. So I'm trying to tell her she needs to listen because they're technically her shoes, and I did not pay her for them. But I didn't bring them with me to show, so they're yours to show. <laughs> All right. So I added a six to my show. Somebody will have those listed soon. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so I have another pair of chacos. That's going to sleep. I was waiting for her to do something. Oh. Like I said it wrong. No, you actually said Chaka's right. Like I say it all the time. <laughs> for me. So these are a size 11. They are, let me turn them around. They are women's. So once again, if you guys ever can't find this size, it's always on the back of these heels right here. Which before I even knew what Chaka's were, I figured that out at least. I had no idea and I knew what Chaka's were. I was like, mm, I'm going to just... Measure it with my foot and hope but for I the But I think piss. it was kind of like one of those, oh my goodness, kind of dumbfounded moments. Like, you just realize, for me, the slim picking kind of thing. Not a normal thing. The bottoms are a little dirty. But overall, they are in pretty good shape. The color's great. I just need You're to really clean up for the for Pride Month. Which is oh, yeah. this month, so. Oh, I forgot about that. that. That is this month. Listen. With everything else going on, I forgot a few things. Let's see here. These don't butcher me on this one because I'm going to butcher it already. I can I tell know. you this. So these are Ramikas, I believe, is oh, what they're called. Oh, they said Ramika, but it, it might I be have Ramika. no idea. I've never even I, heard of this brand. I've not actually looked. I've looked you haven't looked them up? I've looked them up. She is notorious for not looking crap up until she's home. And if that was me, the thing would be worth nothing. Like, it would be one of those, like, I just take back to Goodwill. She picks crap up, and she's like, oh, this thing's worth $300. I'm like, cool. I'm glad you have good luck with that. <laughs> I hope I feel, guys. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but I do. I think I do, and then it's Old Navy after And I do all. try to go by cleanliness, too, so I have less to do. That's not been the case sometimes. I mean, I have a couple here that I really had to work on that are now clean and are listed. I believe these are listed on my Poshmark now. Anyways. I think they are too. I'm pretty sure I did. They do I have- I secretly share her closet a lot. <laughs> I share your back. <laughs> I don't get the notifications. Well, maybe you should look harder. <laughs> <laughs> so they do have a little tiny bit of threading here I need to cut off actually because they're not doing anything like you can pull them they've just frayed a little but all it is is looks like the backing the leather backing bit has just kind of frayed up a hair I don't know it's not really affecting the whole overall shoe but they're really cute they're navy blue with silver nickel I don't know brushed aluminum look 
but I love these things. They're just not my size. These are a size six, because they are 36. So and that is our life. Yeah, sadly. I was too technically right. Mm, yeah. These are my next pair. I'm gonna put them the right way. These are notes. So they're kind of like Birkenstocks. They're pretty much the same price as Birkenstocks. I feel like she's judging me, guys. No. <laughs> I feel like they're, they're newts. N-A-O-T. Yeah, but when you... Guys. Okay. <laughs> we don't We're know. having a problem. <laughs> it is N-A-O-T. I call them notes. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because my dyslexia has got me going backwards here. But if you know That's what they're called... It's hey, okay. we didn't do that. We didn't do that in my age crowd. She's my five years crowd. older than me. It only takes like three know, years before they start something they new. Now. That was right after I graduated. But these are size 40s. I forgot what that is. That's a 10, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's a 10 nine and a half, in 10. US. Yeah, roughly nine and a half, 10. They're too big for me, I can tell you that, and I can fit in up to eights in Burks. But they do have like a slight wedge, which I think is really neat. I love my Burks that do that. I was kind of depressed that these were not my size because they are really cute blue, slightly metallic, got a cute little buckle. They do Velcro. I like it. This is a competitor of Birkenstocks and they sell for about the same amount too. Yeah. Um, you can sell these on eBay, Poshmark, and they sell for roughly the same amount no matter what you're using. Um, found that out pretty quick. But I do have these linked on my Poshmark. To make me look bad. Some of these I've done within Poshmark, like the past, like, they've been listed nope, for we'll about a week. We'll try to get a listed in the next month. <laughs> Mine have been listed for about a week because I haven't been to the outlet this week. So me I'm kind of... We're catching up working on it so these have actually i think these were probably these were more than three weeks ago because i thought um, i'd be able to wear them was i don't me i think you were because i think that's oh. where you got those other ones oh. unless you got those recently i don't know i don't know, I don't know either we, we forget we find so many burks it's not even funny um these are burkies though <laughs> Uh, I have cleaned them up because I tried to wear them one day. Now, I don't know the difference between a Birkenstock and a Berkey. I just know they're like the same brand. Same maker. Same brand. brand. To me. And I, it's like a, I don't know if they're cheaper. No, not online. Not usually. Not by a lot at least. Maybe it's just the material. I think it's the styles. From what I see, I if think you know, it's the let styles, us know the colors. In the comments. <laughs> um, but there is a little bit that I still need to work on. I'm going to try, if you can tell, like where the buckle actually was, because I had fat feet. Um, <laughs> this person did not have fat feet. But these are a seven. I'm about a seven and a half, so, and I fit in them. I just don't like how wide this is, especially on my fat feet. It feels funny. So I feel like I need a little more support to that. Is that five? But these yeah, may be listed here four. shortly. I think we only did four. Four? Okay, so I have to pick another pair? Damn yeah. it. She talks a lot. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so these are one that I actually haven't gotten at the outlet. I got these at another resale shop. And I am a brand junkie as well as my sister. I've gotten worse over the years. I'm huge into vintage, so these are vintage, but they are Prada. I got them, I'd say they were $45, $48 roughly. One heck of a deal for me. They're like brand new almost, on like looking, yeah. but they're not obviously because really they have clean. been worn. But they are often, the resale shop authenticated them because they can't resell them unless they do. So I know they're authentic. Um, oh, looks like I have to clean up the heel actually. I wonder if I just did that. 
from walking around the other day because they were completely clean. So I'm going to work on that, Maybe guys. Maybe in a bag with stuff. But I do have them listed. But they are cute, almost like the 1950 style peep toes. And I'm huge on the 1950, 1940s. I love those eras. If I was a little smaller, I'd be rocking it all the time. So now it's her turn. All right, I've already pulled out my five, so we're just gonna go. Um, well, maybe if I knew the brand. Oh, these are Tevas. I've never seen Tevas like this. Normally they're that spongy thing, but they actually have like a, a solid surface. Um, but they're they have slight wear, but they're worth picking up. Tiva sells well. They compete with Chacos, but they go a little cheaper. I got Berkies as well. Mine have some wear. I just need to clean them up with like a dry erase marker and then maybe some Folex stuff. Um, and then the inside needs cleaned up a little bit, but they're in pretty good condition. And depending on how clean I get them, I might sell them online or they might go to a resale shop because resale shops do not return things. So, <laughs> and sometimes the wear of items just make me nervous, like selling them online, especially for the price people pay. Um, these are Sam and Libby. Honestly, I picked them up because they're cute. I need to look them up to see how much they're going to sell for, though. Um, but they just have some cute pink and kind of snaky skin look to them. And they're a size 8.5 and, and they're rather clean. Next up is, who makes these? Oh, these are Cole Haan. So Cole Haan tends to be a little bit more um, older focused. Sorry, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I wanted to see one. Um, but their boots, I almost thought they were Minnetonka, 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 Minnetonka. Minnetonka. I don't know. It's the stitching on the side that I like literally like oh, for me. The leather is super them. soft, so I kind of knew they were Kohan. Plus they have the Nike Air heel or like the inserts, mm -hmm. but they have no scuffs that I can tell. Oh, just kidding. There's a spot. Oh, well, I should be able to get at least 20 bucks for them. And this is a Bolo, and I've never found it before, and I'm so happy. For once, she found something tykes. before I did. Tykes, tykes, tykes. So, in case you didn't know, these things are super, stupid expensive. Super stupid expensive. And um, they actually resell for like 90 bucks. So, um, you figure out what size they were? No, I'm looking. No idea what size they are. They do have some wear, but even with the wear, they're going to pull a good amount of money because yeah, if they're brand new you're starting size eight guys oh man <laughs> yes score another one <laughs> they might actually fit me give me that we're just not gonna overlook at them okay you're you're up <laughs> <laughs> so these were found at the outlet about a week ago about I... a week ago <laughs> tell me you guys weren't thinking the same thing Okay. <laughs> so these are like those laced up wedges. They are by Guess. Um, I personally don't pick up Guess. I just thought they were cute. Like, I have this problem where if I think they're cute, I pick them up. But she sells them too. Like, that's the thing. If I would pick that up, it'd sit in my closet for like a year. She picks it up, it sells the next day. So, that's that. But they are in really good condition. They are. Um, and they're cute. They have the little gold G on the back. They are like that ballet wrap up your leg, which I like that. And I'm just, I used to do ballet. That might be why. Gus, if you. Yeah, you're going to have to move those. These are mine, buddy. Put them back behind you and then I'll distract them. It's fine. Be like, but they are size eight. So. Really nice shape. Yeah, get that one out. Guys, this is my bummer. I'm so sad. I still haven't found it. She had mentioned on her last haul video about her Prada shoe she hasn't found. And my fry shoe. Here it is. It's so cute. It is adorable. It is my size. I was so excited. It made it in my cart. <laughs> I forgot to put it back because I could not find the second one. I still have not. So.
And we have gone, like, we've been looking for those shoes for two weeks now, and yeah. it's a lost cause, I think. And we even have told people that are there every day that we're looking for them, and they, like, look for us, and they haven't found it either. But so. I do know they technically call this color, like, white or cream for them. To me, it's, like, a light mint white. Yeah. It's not really, and you really can't tell... So I don't know what we're going to end up like doing with them. These are brand but... new looking almost. Yeah. These are mine. They're <laughs> not yours. They Let's don't fit your poles. Come here. I only have one. You have four legs. But yeah, guys, that was a big bummer. So I'm still looking, hoping before I just... I think with our experience on these, back. we're never going to buy one shoe things again. No. Ugh. Never. I'm done with that. All right. So these I found at the outlet. These are my personal shoes. Just thought we'd bring them in and show them because they are nice. So these are Batool. Move your butt. Who's <laughs> <laughs> gonna bite you? I know. You don't pull it. So these are Batulas. They are obviously made by Birkenstock. The one thing about them when I found them, I mean, they look great. I've worn them a few times and they still look great. But as you can see, somebody must have had a heel issue or a lopsided foot. But you know, the funny thing about this, it works for me. I must have one leg shorter than the other. Who or it knows? could just be for like wear. It could be for wear, but I've taken it. I'm just afraid to take it up, guys. Like it is I stuck on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these are size sevens basically, but I just love the color and the look and I have worn them probably six times now and they still look great. I was a little too far. I may have to move some of them. So these are, what number am I on? I think four. Four. Okay, sorry guys, I'm losing okay. count. So these are Mark Fishers. Again, stud detail. Love it. These are, would you say that's gold? Girl. They sure look gold outside. I think it's the lightning. I it think has it's to be the lightning. No, I'm pretty sure it's gold. Okay, she might they got be right. some they may be silver. metallic studs to them. But they are like brand new. They're adorable wedges. She always finds this kind of stuff and I get like... Well, see, on Poshmark, though, they don't sell very well. Mark Fisher, for some reason, does not sell. That's true. Amazingly. They are expensive shoes, though. They are... They can range from 90 over over $100, basically, is what I have seen. Um, these on their site was actually like 112 I want to say. I might be wrong. That might not be this, this pair. Um, cause I have two pairs of Mark Fishers, but like I said, they do not sell well on Poshmark and I learned this the hard way. They've, they are still sitting in my posh closet. She's been on Poshmark for like a month, guys. I know some of you guys can relate in different ways. <laughs> yeah, I've been at, uh, yeah. Did you try a resale shop? No, not yet. None of my stuff has. I think they priced those at like 30 bucks. They may go there. So if these don't get bought within the yeah, week, they're probably going to go back. But it could also be the size. Again, six. That dreaded number six. If you guys can't tell, see our big pile of shoes? Man, we're going to have a Mount Vesuvius. I know, I was thinking we threw all our shoes <laughs> in there. We might have to watch this back to figure out who owns what. Just kidding, I know what I <laughs> These are freaking adorable to me, but I love Levi's. So she actually found the second one for me. Yeah, so I remember when we're at the bins. If you've ever been, like it's bins, bin, huh? Um, it's freaking chaos. <laughs> and um, to, like, well, especially lately, like no more people are coming. So there's more competition and they're all standing around the shoe bins. So if we're there together, we both just say, okay go for it and then we pick up shoes that we're just hoping the other one is picking up because they're in good condition and that's how we got a couple of these matches i think she has is because like one of us had it we're like oh 
I have that. So. But I love these sneakers. They are cute. I have to clean them up still so they are not listed yet. But they're actually in really nice shape for being what they are. Um, I have actually another pair I'll be showing that I have cleaned up and they were a hot mess. <laughs> a hot mess when I first got them, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, these are a size, again, you see I'm going to have to clean this one up too. But they are a size 9, so not bad size for women. Are you sure they're women's though? I'm pretty sure. I feel like they could be men's. Could be, but I guess oh, no. No, I lied. They are men's. She's right. I think my other ones are women's. I'm gonna have to look at that again. So it's a size nine men's. Yeah, you might have to check that Sorry. listing on the other one too. I'll have to double check. Is that the black ones listed? Yeah, but I think they are women's. Oh, okay. There is a difference on the toe compared to what normal men's shoes look like. Do you have more? Is it my turn? Your turn. Alrighty. So, Ugg is always a great one to pick up and resell. These are slip-on clog type Uggs. They have the Sherpa sheep stuff on the inside. And they're, for the most part, cleaned up around down here. They're suede. So these might just sit for a little bit. Um, <laughs> did he bite you? <laughs> Oh, they might sit for a little bit before I list them. However, fun thing, um, fun fact is don't let the season we're in stop you from listing winter stuff because I sold a pair of heavy duty snow boots, Sorel snow boots yesterday and it was 90 degrees here. So granted they're going to California, but, um, um I sold some, or no, Kumbo. Yeah. Kumbo. I have no idea. Kombus, kombus. She sold some winter stuff as well. Yeah, so. within like the first week of being on Poshmark. And it was um, over 70 then. These are Jack Rogers. They're in very, very rough condition. I was going to actually dye the inside and see if that makes them look better. They're kind of a project piece. Actually, one of our old family friends, she had one of these. And they were leaving, so she threw it back, and then I found the other one, so I swooped up and snatched the other one. And I found it after she left, so I'm not, like, taking this from her. Um, and I gave her some decent stuff to take home as well for her to buy, but there is somewhere there. But, yeah, Jack Robert Rogers. These are a new brand to me as well. They were new and bought. Well, they were in their box, but I decided to leave the box because it was really, really big. But it's Andre, Andre Asio, maybe. But they resell for like $54. They're size I'll probably six. Watch it more. Can't. I'll probably They're watch size it 36 more. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's something weird. But like I said, new brand, 54 bucks, resold, brand new. Really soft leather. Um, this is a Tom shoe. I have the other one somewhere. It's probably with that slipper, but it's in good condition. And Slam she's been life. selling Toms somehow on Poshmark, which I don't know. Uh, probably it's been selling. raging from fifteen to twenty dollars for me, but I do and they buy weigh nothing, them, so it's worth buying them. When you're at and I level. buy them when they have like nowhere, basically. Like that's the only way I think you can sell them. These are a pair of Adidas, Alpha Bounce Adidas. They need cleaned up, but I've actually had really good success with cleaning up white shoes. Um, so, and, oh, <laughs> I picked up a golf ball for Eric. <laughs> Titleist, those things are expensive, okay? <laughs> but anyways, so these are date code 417, which is on this tag here, and it is right underneath the uh, I'm a CHN sizing. Might be China. I don't know. Yeah, I never checked that on the tubulars I have. But with the date being the 17, that I don't know if Plato's Closet would end up taking them, but they are a newer style. So, are you up? Yep, I okay. think so. One, two, three, four. No, you have no, oh. five. Here, go ahead and do another one. Oh, I forgot about those. 
All right, so I have, um, this is a Bolo brand as well. I've never found them before, but they're hookahs, hookah, H-O-K-A. They are expensive tennis shoes. These do have a little bit of wear, but this specific style, these are the 1-1, one -one, Hoka 1-1 one -one maybe, um, but they resell for like 80 bucks used. So if you see these, pick them up. And like I said, we are always, always, always open for offers. I'd rather see somebody get a good deal and get out of my house than sit here for 12 months while I try to collect that little bit of money. Not little bit, but you know what I mean. Fast flips are my favorite. <laughs> so these are also listed on my Poshmark. These are Lucky Brand shoes. That's so cute. They are. They're freaking adorable, guys. Look at that detail. I love them. Lots so cute. and lots and lots. I found the match for her. She did. And then I tried to make them work for my feet and they don't. They're too big. She did. They're nine and a halves and they're too big for her. Just a half size too big. I'm a nine and lucky brand. I know, but still. This dude. <laughs> I'm starting to realize why her videos end up the way they are with him. <laughs> you can't put them away. But these are listed on Poshmark right now. Go so see. I cannot remember for the life of me what they're priced at. But I'm open to offer. I think they're like $35 maybe. I think they're somewhere around there. I don't think I they've think ever been right. worn. They don't not look or I, They've probably been tried on but not actually worn. Sorry guys. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know either, <laughs> but so these are Soul Societies. <laughs> New, never worn. I saw the they are on. listed right now. They still have the inserts. Um, they're freaking adorable. They have the fringe. To me, these are okay. So I had issues with the color. It's well, a burnt orange. I call it like a salmon orange. Like I see pink tones in it. No, that is a burnt orange. Okay, guys, guess my burnt orange. Mm -hmm. I think burnt orange like rust color. Okay, that's what I call burnt orange. These don't look rust color to me. These look like a pretty thin rust color burnt orange. I'd wear them. Uh, but they are size seven. So they are just a hair too small for me because of the fact of this backing. It pushes my toes too far up my big toes alone <laughs> you know like there you go no it's just funny grab a couple pairs when you do that <laughs> she's not like me she wasn't pre-prepared this is her first time ever doing a video so i think she's doing pretty good yeah bear with me guys all right i moved them okay you happy i forgot what brand these were kelsey dagger that's right. These are Kelsey daggers. I and found throw apology. Yeah. Uh, I love these suckers. We actually argued about whether it was anthro or not for a very long time. And she's like, look, they are. And she sent me like the listing. Whatever. Yeah. Oh. So these are quite a bit brand new. And these look hardly worn. Okay. Now they look a little bit more worn because I've worn them a few times. But when I first got them, they were hardly worn. These probably will not be listed for a while because um, I have a sibling here that likes them yes. and fits in them mm -hmm. and I like them and fit in them so you know those shoes that you just the sound is what how did you describe it you know an expensive pair of shoe by the way they sound when you have oh them yeah on? yeah I liked that so but I like the weathered detail look that it has and it's not too much and they do come like that so, They're kind of like a prairie girl, like very prairie, country chic, shabby chic, something like that. I don't know. I have this free people dress that I think they look so cute with, but that free people dress does not fit me, and it's actually gonna get listed here in the next day because I have the pictures already. Sorry. <laughs> so these are Banana Republic. I don't pick up that brand. I was just sharing. I am starting to see why. They have been listed since pretty much day one. They're very nice shape. 
She's in that like beginning stage, which I'm so I'm happy about. I'm learning. But she has an advantage. She's with me. Yeah. So she gets all my stupid knowledge. But I do get yelled at every now and then for picking up something you're not going to get rid of. <laughs> yeah. But these are size eights. They're still in really good shape, barely worn. Yeah, they look brand new. They do. And I have actually conditioned and polished these. Oh. But there was not much to do. I just wanted to get most of the dust and stuff. The nice thing is, because these are in such good condition, she can easily take these to a resale shop and they'll probably pay her like three bucks a month. So she'll get her money back that she spent at the outlet and maybe make an extra dollar. So she's taking the time to go there, which isn't bad. I have the time. I strategically but plan it. It's easy extra money. I just find sometimes they take an hour to go through stuff. So I got to make sure I have other things that I can go do. That is true. Because I hate making the same trip more than once. Um, these are Tevas. I like these, though. They're all They're different. They're kind of a choco wannabe. Yeah, and they're very thin, but they're still leather. They have that toe strap. Mm -hmm. They're leather? They have a leather no. backing. Would you call Actually, that leather? I think they are. That's weird. It's kind of like the other pair of Tevas. It's an odd... But it's the same person. They have, like, a leather suede backing. Um... But a different type of top. I don't know what you would call this, to be yeah. honest. But they Velcro around the toe. So you can actually change if your toe is smaller, bigger, maybe more so bigger than smaller. Um, Velcro around your top half. These are listed. Um, oh, I, I just believe. Got a list of yeah. Sorry. No. That is a something too. Like you gotta smell this shit before you buy it. Oh, I'm cussing so much today, sorry. <laughs> <sighs> she usually does have a potty mouth, guys. But maybe Not it's just something else mine. that I got a whiff of that confused me, but sorry. Go it ahead. could be something not washed yet that we have in here or something, I don't know. Um, these are size eights. They're still in very good shape. I probably should flip them, sorry. Soles, toes, really good shape. So I was excited. I thought they were cute, but they don't fit. And just Again, so you guys No, I'm sorry that this video is gonna be long. Yeah, sorry. I'll try and hurry up, but okay. not that good. So these are Tommy Hill figures. I like Tommy Hill figure. I was born in that era. <laughs> that Tommy Hilfiger was the thing to wear. I love these boots, though. I have cleaned these up. They are polished. They have the wool top. They go about mid-calf. They are size six and a half, though. My calf's too big, so I wouldn't be able to wear these. They have gold detailing. They oh, do look great right now. Here's the other one. They look a lot better than when I got them. Tell you, these I had to work on pretty well. I'm trying to keep him because Gussie's like no, he's fine. made himself a little home on our uh -huh. shoes. These are bear traps. They're seven and a half. I actually have decided so far to keep them. They may be listed within a couple weeks, but. They were like brand new and I've never tried a pair. The and shoes I are so comfortable. Love strappy sandals. They're very comfortable. My pair look a little bit more old lady ish. She found the second one. I did? Mm hmm. You found I did. one of them and I have the other. I forgot. So. Alright. Okay, these are my last five. So then I'm gonna have you just pass me items of your stuff. Um. These are Gucci one of these. They have that horse thing in front of them, but they're Big Buddha. Big Buddha is a good selling brand. Resale shops love this brand and also they hold value like on resale. Um, they're a size eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'm gonna have to try them on. So I don't know if they'll be listed or not, but they're cute and they're in good style or good condition and they're in on trend and I just love that. 
These are Spiri boots and I love, I have a pair of these, but mine are blue with the brown, this color brown. They're the most comfortable boots I've ever had. These are actually my size for Spiri's because in Spiri's and a Spiri's I wear an eight, Adidas I think I wear a seven. Like my feet are all over the board. I just know the brands and what size my shoes are. But these are a size eight. They just need like no cleanup. I'd sell them the way they are. I just disclosed some of the flaws. These are another pair of wedges. We have some Steve Madden. They're orange. They do need a little cleanup around the toes. That's what I call burnt but orange. These are orange, suede orange, not burnt orange. I know. That's our difference. And these are a size six and a half. They look bigger than a six and a half. I know. Well, I guess they're a six and a half. We'll try it on our feet. Oh, they're six and a oh, half. Oh, yeah, they're six and a half. The Why? Same. The heel always makes shoes look bigger. <laughs> um, and then these are Tim Rogers, which I, these are a pair of shoes. I picked them up because they're in good condition. And they had this really cool, like, heavy-duty gold detail. So I, I need to do research on these. But I know if they're not worth money online, I can at least take them to a resale shop. So, and I do pick up. I've told you guys many times. I pick up to get my money back fast sometimes. I think they might be good. That's an expensive feel. <laughs> and my last item is very on the animal print. Carol Baskin. These she animal print it, guys. She totally did it. Sam and Libby. Another pair of Sam and Libby's. They have this small, like, chunky heel to them. Um, they do have a little bit of wear, but nothing that I can't get out with a toothbrush and some stain remover. So that concludes my little half. Oops, sorry. Bear with me, guys. We're almost done. Give me a couple pairs of shoes. She rolls up to my house with like six bags of stuff. I'm like, holy cow, are we just doing a video on your stuff? Or Liar you three. She said they she seem like a lot though, but they are shoes, so there's like two per item, obviously. I do have one item that is not shoes, but I think it's a good item that's worth sharing. So yes, it is, and I didn't know at the time. So we'll get to that. Um, so these are Forever Twenty One sandals. They're on my Poshmark for eight bucks. I really liked. The Stay look. skin's in. And it kind of tell you they're not, it's in. Like everyone here that I go to the resale shops, they're like, oh, we're gonna pass on that. Snake skin doesn't do very well for us. And I'm like, woman, have you not looked online? Like we're, all the stores are freaking snake skin. In all fairness, we're in Indiana. Indiana's way behind, behind on style. Behind. So that being said, that's why some things we get we but, get excited for because they're actually in style and nobody thinks they are around here yeah but i liked the top half it kind of reminded me of like tory birch yeah they actually look like airman or yeah airmas their sandals have that yeah. weird h which i mean a lot of brands do that style but they're super cute but they do have a little wear very little Oh, it's the glue. So, no wear on this one, but on this one, yeah, a little wear. And she lists all the flaws on her pictures and stuff, too, so. I came from eBay. You can tell she, when you look at my Poshmark. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are another pair of Mark Fishers. I would have loved those. I loved them, though. Again, we're going back to the vintage style for me. I have an issue. We find pumps. I always have to tell her, put those back, put those yeah. back, put those back. Every once in a while, one slips by her. Yeah, but if they don't sell, I think these, yeah, they're seven and a halves. I may actually be able to wear these. And the heel's not real high, and that's a big thing for me. Plus, you have this slight platform, platform which evens out your distribution, which is big for me because I am a heavier set girl. Guys, I'm gonna try and say it. Oh. <laughs> Fence. Kamuto? 
Yes. <laughs> say it the way you say it. Vinci Camuccio? <laughs> she always says, I have these Vinci's, and I'm like, Vince? Vince Camuno? Vinci sounds more fancy. So Thank when you, you find an actual pair of Vince shoes, are you going to say Vinci's to me? If you find those, though, you better snatch them up. <laughs> Probably. Well, I have found the Christian Louis Vuittons, though. Why uh -huh. is it I can say... Louis Vuitton. Yeah, but I can't say Vince. Vince. Unless I'm thinking yeah. about it and I've said it already. So, but I do say Vinci a and lot. some Pilgrim look. Pilgrim mules. Those are Mule. not mules. Not mules. Loafers? No, I think they're chunky heels. But Close. they have the Pilgrim style. Yeah. I think they're cute, though. Which I don't really And I have seen him at that. quite a few resale shops. This exact shoe by him. Well, this ugly... Sorry if you like it, but this Pilgrim flip thingy is back. Like, I see it all the time, and I'm like, why? No guessing here on them. But other than that, they're in, like, brand new shape, guys. So, and they are listed. Uh, they are size 7. So, check that out. Um... Again, if I don't sell things by a certain amount of time, I will actually take them down. Um, send an offer! Yeah, send an offer. But I will actually try them at a resale shop. So you will see some things disappear. Um, Levi's. These I did one heck of a job cleaning up. Are they men's or women's? Yes, they are women's. I win. <laughs> Dang, they are. <laughs> I know, you see why I, I thought those other ones were women's? Because I hadn't really looked at them yet because I hadn't listed them. Yeah. These are size 10 in women's. They have the Levi. I cleaned the crud out of these, you guys. They were dirty. They had dirt all over, like mud. And as you can tell, for being muddy. Yeah, they look really good. They look pretty awesome. So just a little cleaning and polishing can actually go a very long way with your shoes. It's, I use saddle soap and black shoe polish usually. Um, the black shoe polish for me, don't always use, depends. Um, sometimes I just use mink oil instead, like those I used mink oil on. So, go ahead. All right, so these are more of her shoes we have. These are the Born BOC um, booties. They are a size seven and a half. They have this really cute uh, kind of upholstery type feeling to them. Um, and then they're suede down here, but they're super clean and yeah, they are more like cute. a needlework kind of feel. Yeah, um, they are listed. So you'll these see are adorable and I'm really jealous she found these because I've listed. never found this brand in this good of condition. They're corks. Corks are very comparable to um, Fry. What were you going to say about them? I say I actually didn't find this. One of, our, oh. one of the guys that we see a lot um, that I talk to a lot and I find things for him had found these. Yeah. And he handed them to me. And that's how I got them. So it does pay to be nice to the regulars. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, they're corks. Are they cork or corkies? Oh, it's cork ease, not corky. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're super cute, heavy duty, great leather. They're um, competitors of Fry, but like kind of just a smidge cheaper. Like I'm talking five to ten bucks cheaper. And I think wise. they're like a really dark burgundy red. Yeah. It's very hard to see colors sometimes on Poshmark, so it's really hard to explain them sometimes, too. These are another pair of Ugg slide-ons. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. You can Actually, see. Actually, you can tell now. Yeah. But they're in really good condition. They're size 7. Um, Ugg, you really can't go wrong. I actually picked up a pair of Uggs one time that the, like, Sherpa of the slippers was, like, ripped out, and I still made 20 bucks off of them. Say so these so. had completely white toes when I got them. Oh yeah. Yeah. And now they look at them. They were like something I was so like, I don't want that project. Just a little mink oil and saddle soap. Yeah. Can go a long way on your shoes. And then we have these lace up um with the Sherpa type look. Soul but Society. these are Soul Society and they are faux fur. 
size eight. They look brand new. Minus there is damage on one of the laces. Laces can be replaced. Well, yeah, but <laughs> I had to, I wanted to make sure people yeah. knew on my Poshmark that it's this one. The laces. Oh, there's like snags. There's a it's snag on the laces. Um, only on one shoe. But, but I always cute. make sure I show and put that in my listing. So if you want to start preparing for fall and winter, there you go. <laughs> oh God, the idea of that seasons, mainly winter. I'm not ready for it. Guys, we have three items left. Ah! Hot diggity dog. We're almost through it, guys. So her favorite is Barry boots. Those are not my favorite boots though. No, they're not, but that are not. Like still those colors. <laughs> so I can't figure out if this is red. I don't know. Or pink. Or pink, like a hot pink. Because they really look hot pink where we're sitting. I don't know what it looks like to you guys. I have not cleaned these up at all yet. You I think tell. they are a little red, but they're like fire truck rug. red. Maybe. Yeah, I could see that. But overall, they are not in bad shape. Um... They have the Sherpa kind of material. So I think, think they're more so their snow boots in a way for them. Yeah, maybe. Because it goes all the way through. If you can't see. Is that your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> Get hungry, guys. I haven't eaten since yeah. 7 a.m. So, and it's like 1.50 maybe. Not, I hope it's I not. I hope it's not. I don't know what time it is. We started at 12.55, so who knows. Huh? It could be. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're getting close. So these are size sevens in women's. Again, haven't cleaned them. They'll eventually be cleaned and Gussie, Gussie don't you do it. All right, so we're putting these back, guys. <laughs> uh, we have a Gussie attacking them. But they'll eventually be listed once they're cleaned up Those are and cute. good to go. These are Dolce Vita. Mm -hmm. Hey, I like to call them Dolce. That's okay. Another <laughs> brand issue. Are they DV by Dulce Vita or are they Dulce Vita? DV by Dulce Vita. Sorry. So the difference is the... Sorry. No, the ones no. that say DV, plain DV, are from Target. 